Good morning, all you cool cats and kittens. Oh, sorry, wrong video. Kevin here with uh, Camper Clothes and Chaos. You can find us on Instagram at Camper Clothes and Chaos. Uh, me and Leanna also run two Poshmark closets. You can find me at thread underscore dealer, and she is at the ship shop on Poshmark. We are resellers, and uh, we do a little bit of everything that we can to make some money. Uh, with the quarantine uh, lockdown going on right now, uh, a lot of people are having issues with sourcing. Uh, people are going out for donations. And we're going to go over a few things that we picked up recently and a few additional ways to make some extra cash that don't just involve selling clothes. Uh, first, uh, we're going to go over a few of our sales that we had yesterday. Um, a few things that we had already picked up from the last two days as far as donations have already sold. Um, first, you see this stack of medium flat rate boxes. Uh, they're each labeled, and in these are lots of kids' clothing. Um, this is my quick number system. Uh, I got BB002, 001, BG001, and for me, that's just baby boy 02, baby boy 02. One baby girl, oh one. We had six of these boxes, 30 to 40 pieces of clothes in each one, and we've sold four of them already. I do have a standing offer on Mercari for another one right now. So within 72 hours, uh, basically five of six boxes have sold. We do pay shipping on these, so they're gonna be about $13.20 to ship through Pirate Ship. Uh, but those will be going out. Uh, three of them already have, and uh, two more are ready to go. And I guess we got two more to sell as well. Uh, a few other things that we had picked up as far as donations in the last two days that sold within 24 hours. Uh, this uh, baby breast pump for uh, mothers. This actually sold on Mercari, full asking price within five minutes from selling it. It was listed on eBay as well, um, but the sale did come from Mercari on that. And uh, these slippers, Acorn slippers, were up, um, they ended up selling on eBay. They were up for less than 24 hours as well. Uh, free donation, $20 these sold for. Probably something I would pass on in a thrift store, uh, but they were free, so they went up and turned out to be a good sale for us. Uh, seven ounces so uh three three and a half four dollars to ship good profit on that considering we've got nothing in it a few other things that we had sell for us yesterday um clothing wise uh, lots of adidas lounge gear a pair of warm-up pants a pair of joggers and adidas windbreaker adidas still very popular right now uh, and a few free people shirts i believe were on there um, so the clothes are still moving a little bit slower, uh, but th there are some buyers out there as well. Uh, let's get to a few of the donations that we had yesterday. These are things that we've already got listed, uh, mostly on eBay because it is toys and odd men's. Um, we do have a, a My Little Pony lot. There's 23 pieces of the different uh, figurines and a few accessories. Uh, it does have the lunchbox. It's pretty beat up, so it is not part of the listing, but if it does sell, the box is going with it for free. Uh, I, I just don't like putting damaged items in our listings. It just opens up a can of worms for returns, item not as described. So if they get it for free, it's missing a handle. Uh, they really can't complain about that. The goods they purchased are on the inside and they are as described in the listing. So the My Little Pony lot is up on eBay and you're gonna get a free lunchbox with it. Uh, Panama Jack hat, that went up on eBay, Mercari and Poshmark. Uh, not something I would pick up at a thrift store. Uh, however, it is a free donation, so it's 100% profit. It definitely went up on all three sites as well. Uh, old Ken Dow, Old Cabbage Patch. Again, a few things that I wouldn't pick up, but being free, we went with it. Um, 
landed a pair of old bowling shoes, Brunswick, great name, um, low rough condition. There might be somebody interested in them, not something that I would normally pick up at a thrift store, uh, but being free, there's some pretty good comps on them. Right now they're listed on uh, eBay as well as Mercari. Uh, lastly, in our, our box of already listed is some DVDs. I'm not a fan of DVDs, uh, hard sell, but we got 14 of them. I just put them all together in a lot, post them for 20 bucks. We'll include, uh, so it's free shipping, we'll pay for it. Uh, not expecting a whole lot out of these. Uh, if they sell, they sell. If not, uh, they'll be going back to a donation bin when everybody starts to open back up. So that's kind of what we had uh, from the donations yesterday that have already been listed. Again, as mentioned, the breast pump already sold. Bunch of kids clothing lots have already sold. And uh, the acorn uh, moccasin slippers were a good sell uh, that were up less than 24 hours and, and sold on eBay. Now, when we're thrifting on our own in a thrift store, a garage sale on Facebook Marketplace, wherever you choose to purchase your items for resale, we're generally a little more picky and look over the items that we're purchasing. Uh, with donations, that's a little bit different. You're gonna get a lot of junk. You're gonna get a lot of items that a homeowner just doesn't want and wants to get rid of. They think it might hold value they don't want to throw it out, so they're going to pass it along to you. A lot of what we've got in the last few days has been junk. But there's a few things that people might just throw away that I still find value in. Um, a lot of what we get is old computer speakers, old electronics that don't work anymore. Anything with a cord has value. I, I own a trash company, and a big part of my income with them is scrapping or recycling and it's very simple to do uh, anything that has an electric cord on it can be recycled uh, most places are going to take just the wiring it's called insulated wiring you do have to take a pair of snips and cut off all the ends you'll go ahead and cut this speaker part off uh, you can usually slip in a small speaker like this in a steel load of scrap all old metal you'll be able to get away with throwing a small speaker in but where you're going to find your most profit is from this insulated wiring it's a commodity so the prices are low if gas prices are low you're not going to get much for scrap value scrap uh, steel is going for about a nickel a pound right now insulated wiring as such that you find on this is going to be 20 to 30 cents depending on your location. But it's very simple. Just take a pair of wire snips, go ahead and cut off the wiring ends so you have just the wire, and I just fill a five gallon bucket. You're gonna have about 20 pounds of wiring once you get that five gallon bucket filled, and you're gonna get a nice chunk of change. Uh, copper, brass, any old uh, plumbing fixtures uh, is gonna hold some value. And I just sort all of that into different five gallon buckets, Rubbermaid totes, and then we take it to a local scrap yard. And most of the workers there are very helpful. They're gonna tell you what you need to do to maximize your profits on your next trip. But a lot of items that people discard from their free donations are old electronics and, and there's hidden money in all of this. This is an old heating pad for a reptile tank. All you need to do is snip both ends off and you've got this piece of wiring, throw it in a five gallon bucket. This here is gonna be trash, or you can start a five gallon bucket with these ends. That's, that can go as, uh, as steel, even though there is some brass and copper inside of here. It's really not gonna be worth your time digging it apart. So uh, the wiring on old electronics is where you're gonna get your most bang for your buck if you're picking up free donations. Another thing that we keep finding in these donation pickups from Nextdoor or Craigslist or local Facebook groups are books. People want to get rid of them. Kids outgrow them. We've got a large box of books here. Kids books, educational books, uh, learning books. There are some adult books. Um, 
not some people do find quite a bit of money in uh sending them to amazon or on ebay i don't pr myself take the time to do all that uh, there is a website there's several of them out there uh, we use ziffit it's z-i-f-f-i-t dot com and on your phone uh, you can get a scanner app or uh, if you want to get fancy they actually have like a scanning gun that you can pick up and we just link up to the website you scan the barcode on all your books and they will tell you if they will buy it through the ziffit.com uh, we did just have a, a decent load that went in, um, about $33, I believe we got. They send you a prepaid uh, postage on that, so we sent it in. Not much in yesterday's um, haul as far as value to resell to them, uh, but we are part of a... Uh, group that we help out i guess a, a charity it is elizabeth's book drive so we'll take this large box of books we collected yesterday and donate to elizabeth's book drive they are out of columbus ohio and do great things with helping kids in orphanages and donating um, books on to those kids in need um, so if you're collecting books from your free donations don't pitch them uh, great educational tool you can donate them or if you want to make a few dollars, which is what we're all in it for, uh, ziffit.com is a great place for that. Now, when we first get back with our donation loads, uh, obviously we pick out what's junk and we separate what we think might hold some value and then get rid of what's trash because in donations, people are going to give you just junk and things that they don't want. So you got to take the good with the bad. Uh, as far as clothes goes, which is our bread and butter that we sell, um, we got several categories that we separate things up into. Uh, we don't pitch any clothes. Uh, if it's not something we want to sell on our own, we send it to thread up. We've had this week with the donation pickups, seven or eight boxes already go to thread up. We've got four more sitting by the door and I've got a big one next to me. We don't do a whole lot as far as kids' clothes unless we're going to lock them up, like I had mentioned earlier in the video. Um, but most of our kids' stuff is going to go to thread up. We do sell some. Uh, we got this pair of kids' Uggs. Normally, I would pass on these in a thrift store, but if it was a free donation, I'd list them. They are, however, in pretty rough shape. So we're just going to let thread up deal with those. Uh, we got some knockoff adult Uggs here. I do fairly well selling shoes and boots, um, but these are going to be out of season. And I've got several pair of furry Crocs and Uggs, a few pair of bear claws, very similar to this, same size that I've been sitting on for a while. So I'll let Thread Up handle this. Uh, we got just a, whole, a huge box of clothes here. Uh, lots of uh, Old Navy and Walmart brands. Again, ThreadUp will give you a label to send it to them, or they'll send you a bag, you fill their bag, or you're allowed to recycle or reuse a box up to 30 pounds on one label. They are pretty slow processing them right now, but that is a few dollars down the road that uh, will end up in your account. So don't throw out any clothes, let ThreadUp deal with it, and they upcycle what they're not gonna buy off of you. Okay, now getting into some of the clothes that we picked up yesterday that we will be posting on eBay, Mercari, or one of our two Poshmark uh, closets. Uh, you can find me, Kevin, at thread underscore dealer on Poshmark, and Leanna is going to be at the ship shop. Um, our closets kind of tend to sell different things. Uh, what might be a good seller for me doesn't sell for her and vice versa. She has a lot of higher end female clothing that does well. I sell a lot of guy stuff, Dickies, Workwear, Carhartts. So um, sometimes we'll put it in both closets, but normally we'll figure whose closet is gonna sell it best and go from there. Uh, we did pick up this pair of Carhartt jeans yesterday. Uh, they do have some holes in the knee. 
not something I would pick up in a thrift store, but again, free donation. A guy's working in these. He's going to get them dirty and tore up as it is. Uh, so if we can make any profit off of them, since it is a free donation, that's going to be beneficial to us. Of course, it's free to list it. So the Carhartt are a definite keeper that will go up for sale. Uh, I do very good with Converse shoes, Vans shoes. These are men's size 11, basic skater shoes. The soles look wonderful on them. There's some peeling on the side between the canvas and soles and some cracking on the top toes. Wouldn't pick it up in a thrift store, but in a donation bag, uh, definitely gonna go up for sale. E easy $15 sale on the men's vans. Uh, another item that we picked up, probably be a good eBay sale, is this Power Puffs Girl. Uh, it's a reversible bag. Uh, we have looked up comps, uh, $30 to $40. So that's going to go up on eBay here shortly. And got a pocket there. It's in very good condition. A little bit faded, uh, but it, it'll be a good sell. I'm probably on eBay or Mercari. A lot of people are having luck selling quilts right now. A lot of the crocheted quilts, we did not get any of those. We did find this animal print uh, blanket. Uh, kid size, uh, we will put measurements in. I'm going to assume it's about four, uh, three, by, three by four foot maybe. Uh, it's nice, it's bright, it's in great condition. Uh, run it through the washing machine and somebody will buy that up fairly quickly, I believe. Uh, we did get quite a few new with tag items as well. Um, let's see what I can pull out here. Uh, we got this Nike workout top. It's all tangled and being a guy. Uh, not my forte getting it right way, but new with tags, 60, $64 as you can see. Uh, summertime coming up, everybody in quarantine. People are getting back in that workout routine. Uh, what we got here? RBX. Um, not a great brand. Find it at Kohl's Wholesale Spot. Somebody did buy this at Marshall's, but it does have the original factory tag on it uh, with a retail price of $58. We'll pull the Marshall's tag off of it, list it. Uh, nice, lightweight. Somebody will be interested in that. Uh, there's a pair of Athleta uh, workout, or uh, a dress, I guess it was, summer dress in here. Very popular brand. Again, new with tags, it's a size 10. Pretty pink, uh, tie strap. And that will be good for summertime. A lot of people looking when the quarantine breaks to be getting back out some fresh threads. Uh, got a few Old Navy fleeces, uh, new with tags. Not a huge Old Navy fan uh, as far as reselling, but new with tags definitely something we're going to hang on to. Something else that we got in the donations yesterday that I'm pretty excited about is some uh, Waffle House gear. Looks like somebody had once worked at Waffle House and either upgraded uh, their uniforms or just said get rid of the old. Um, there's several polos, button downs, there's a few hats in here as well. Everybody loves Waffle House at 3 in the morning. And I got a feeling those will be pretty good sells on eBay, possibly Mercari. We'll put it on both, see where we go from there. Uh, brand new BB dress. Again, new with tags. Summertime coming up. Uh, $129 new. That's going to be a size medium. You'll be able to find that on Poshmark. Uh, also got a kid's Patagonia hat. It's an older style, a little bit dirty, and does have a little bit of pilling here and there. Uh, but with the sweater shaver, sweater shear, run it over it, give it a good wash, and look good as new. Patagonia, always a good seller. Uh, so that'll be going up as well. Uh, here's another Waffle House shirt. 
got a feeling those will be selling uh, fairly easily. And uh, let's see, one of our best scores that we had from yesterday uh, is this YSL 100% silk scarf. It is an older style. It is authentic though, uh, new. This is something that would be upwards of $1,000. Um, being older style comps, we're looking at um, $150, $200. You can see their logo in it right there. So this was an exciting find for us. It, it's one of the top notch brands that you're gonna find up there with Gucci. Uh, might be something we even look at the real uh, if you deal with the real real.com their higher end consignment shop we do send some items to them uh, it's basically hands off uh, get on their website fill out a few questions about your item they send you a prepaid label and we send it on off to them uh, something we'll look into but that's definitely a great find with the YSL scarf we've been having lots of luck with swim trunks lately here's a pair of men's Columbia that we had found size large excellent condition the swim trunks have been selling for us uh, pretty good here recently uh, another set of swim trunks we came across are these tabasco trunks uh, lots of tabasco collectors out there and then there's just the people who like tabasco uh, a pair of swim trunks in excellent condition men's i uh, got a feeling those will be a pretty good sell uh, extra large a um, little older, but everything is intact, the men's lining, so that'll probably be a good eBay sell right there. Um, quite a few summer dresses, so we'll keep those. Uh, larger sizes seem to do well. Uh, New Directions, uh, it's a size 16, very pretty. Summertime coming up, uh, that'll probably be a Poshmark sale, you'll be able to find that, probably in Leanna's closet. Um, then there's some winter gear. Um, we have the room to store it, so we'll go ahead and keep that stuff and hang on to it, post it. Uh, we got a Colum men's Columbia fleece right here. So some pretty good donations that we found. Uh, they'll all go up on eBay, Mercari, and again, you can find it in each of our Poshmark closets at Thread Dealer and at the Ship Shop. So thanks for staying with me uh, for our first uh, camper clothes and chaos youtube you can also find us on instagram at the same and we'll be back here in a few days hopefully we got some sales from our donated items we picked up today that we'll be excited to tell you about and have a new haul so we can have a second haul video and go from there thanks and have a great day